I think we can all agree that James Ward Prowse is, is a top player, someone that can perhaps play for, for a big club, right? With all due yeah. respect to Southampton. He's done great when he's played for England as well. Yeah. Southampton fans are not going to like this, but I'm surprised he's committed his future to the club. He's signed mm. a, a longer term contract yeah. when there was offers in the Premier League, if you believe what you read, for him West to Ham go on interested. to West Ham, Leicester, mm. others to go on and play at a higher level. And for me, for, for him, whether it's a, an age thing, a, a decision on yeah. family, where they're happy geographically, or Matt Letizia spoke yeah. to him and he wanted to stay, stay <laughs> at one club, um, I'm just surprised that for a player, in, especially in a World Cup year, who's got I think he's got an outside chance of making the squad due to his versatility, due to his ability with set plays. I'm surprised that he committed his future to Southampton. Do you think he has a chance with England, Gary? Well, definitely. He's, he's, he's represented his country mm. already. I think, you know, technically he's, he's excellent as a player. Mm. Paul Merson, I think, has accused him of not having ambition as per why he's decided to stay at Southampton versus going, going to play for West Ham, for example, who's, who's going to finish the season higher than Southampton. He's a bit of European football as well. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Paul Merson talking about a player lacking ambition. Well, you know, you could argue that, that Paul didn't have enough ambition to be professional enough. Uh, Paul Merson was a great player, very, very talented. But actually, if he'd looked after himself a little bit better than he did, and of course, everybody has problems at different times, I understand that, so this isn't a criticism of him. But if he'd looked after himself a little bit better, he would have been a better player. So actually, you could spin that round. Well, did Paul Merson <laughs> really have enough ambition to stay professional enough for long enough? Paul? I'm, I think it's similar to what I said, but in a different way. I think the, the ambition of a player to want to push yourself and play at the next level. Mm. You know, it's no disrespect to Southampton, but they are what they are. And that club, they're well aware of what they are. They're a club that generally sell their best players. They stay in the Premier League in a certain way. They, they have a manager, they have a, a style of playing. And that mould is very rarely broken. We very rarely see them in the top six. OK, we did last year. Relegation battle, we haven't seen them in there recently. I think they may be down there this year. And that's where they are, and they understand that. For him as a player to move on to the next level, he could have bettered himself. What sort of level would you put James Watt Prowse at? Would you say he's a big six level? Your your big club. I think he would become a better City, player. Liverpool he would become a better Arsenal. player with better players around him. Mm. Yeah. I think in when he's he can see a pass, he's got vision, he's got awareness, and I think surrounded by better players, he would perform at that level. We've seen him been been capable of doing it in the England team. The the biggest compliment you can pay him is he hasn't looked out of his depth. He's looked at home in the England team with top six players.